All right, so we're gonna jump right into the pattern hacking. So all you need is your Chloe sweatshirt, either the front or the back pattern piece. And we're just gonna add 10 inches of length all the way across the bottom. And it's just a rectangle shape, so you don't have to add any shaping or anything like that. Just go straight down 10 to 12 inches. Depending on how tall you are, this will give you about a knee length sweatshirt dress. Once you've added your length with your chalk, just go ahead and cut out your pattern piece and make sure to snip into your notches. So you should have two notches which represent the back armhole and then for your front, you're gonna repeat the same steps that you did to your back and you wanna cut that out as well. For the front, you'll have one notch that indicates the armhole for the front. You also wanna make a small little snip along the center neckline. So you cut your fabric out on the fold. Make sure you make a small little snip. This is gonna help you whenever you're attaching your neckband. So once you have your back pattern piece cut out, make sure you repeat the same steps to the front and then place them with right sides together and we're gonna pin along the shoulder seam. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our hem band pieces. Just place them with right sides together and we're going to pin along the two short ends. Then we're going to move on to the neck band piece and we're going to place that right sides together and we're going to pin along the short end. Now you want to grab your sleeve cuffs and you're going to place that again with right sides together and you should have a notch to indicate which side you need to sew. So make sure the side that has the notch is the side that you're pinning together. Repeat that step to your other sleeve cuff as well. So now you just want to take your fabric to your sewing machine and we're going to sew with a half of an inch seam allowance across the shoulder seams, making sure to remove our pins as we go. Now go ahead and grab the remainder of the pieces that you pinned together and take that to your sewing machine and you're going to sew across with a half of an inch seam allowance. So everywhere that you pinned, you want to sew there with half of an inch seam allowance, making sure again to remove your pins as you go. You want to grab your hem band piece and you're going to turn it onto itself with wrong sides together. You want to make sure you press it flat at your ironing table. Then you want to repeat the same thing to your neck band piece. Just press that seam open and then press it flat at your ironing table. For the sleeve cuff, you have to fold it onto itself again with wrong sides together and then go ahead and press that flat at your ironing table as well. We're going to attach our neckband piece to our neckline. So go ahead and grab the seam of our neckband and we're going to place it to the center back notch. And then you want to place the center front of the neckband to the center front notch. Now you just want to continue pinning across your entire neckline using as many pins as you need to. So now we're going to move on to attaching our sleeve. So just place your sleeve with right sides together and you're going to pin the center notch on the sleeve to the shoulder seam. You want to pin the underarm area of the sleeve to the underarm area of the shirt. Then you want to pin at your notches. So remember the double notch indicated the back and the single notch indicates the front. So make sure you're attaching the right sleeve to the right side of the sweatshirt dress. So once you've pinned there, just continue pinning using as many pins as you need to to secure your sleeve to your sweatshirt dress. Go ahead and repeat the same exact process to your other sleeve as well. Take this to your sewing machine and we're going to sew across the neckline with the half of an inch seam allowance, making sure to use a stretch stitch. Now that you've attached your neckband piece, you can move on to attaching your sleeve. So just place it under your sewing machine and you're going to sew with a half of an inch seam allowance, making sure to remove your pins as you go. So now we're going to pin our side seams together. So just place your fabric with right sides together and we're going to pin starting from the bottom. Then you're going to move on to pinning your underarm seam. 
Then you want to pin the very bottom of your sleeve. After you've pinned those places together, just continue pinning throughout your entire side seam. Repeat the same exact process to your other side seam as well. Now just sew both side seams together with a half of an inch seam allowance. Now you want to attach your hemband to the bottom piece of your sweatshirt dress. Pin starting at the side seams and then you're going to continue pinning throughout the entire lower portion, making sure to stretch your hemband slightly to fit your sweatshirt dress. Now we're going to pin the lower portion of our sleeve to our sleeve cuff. So just place your sleeve cuff over your sleeve and you're going to pin matching the seam line of the cuff to the seam line of the sleeve. So just place a few pins throughout to secure it in place. Now all that's left to do is take that to your sewing machine and sew with a half of an inch seam allowance. Again, making sure to remove those pins as you go. Alright you guys, so the very last step is just to clean up your raw edges and press everything nice and flat at your ironing table. Make sure you tag us on Instagram at Rosie Pena Patterns if you guys recreate this look, I would love to see it. Also make sure you guys stop by RosiePenaPatterns.com where you can get your own Chloe sweatshirt. I'll have all the information linked in the description bar below. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!